Hey y'all. Well, I've had this request and so I'm going to do it. Um, this was actually by a friend. It wasn't from y'all. Y'all are friends, but this was from an in-person friend who said, Hey, how are you liking your Louis Vuitton um, bandolier? I have two, one in the LV um, monogram and one in the Damier Ebene, which is, that's what this is called. That's this uh, pattern. That it's the little dark squares. And the little squares next to the dark squares, it looks like they're just lighter, but if you look at them up close, they're like little dotted, almost like a, a pink coral colored. And then in just some of them, um, ever so often, it's the Louis Vuitton Paris um, emblem is in there, like right there. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so what do I think of this? I have cause to tell you, and I'll tell you why. I recently needed, you know, when you're out during, during, doing stuff with COVID-19 out there, it's kind of cumbersome. Uh, you have a mask on, you have gloves on, you have, um, well, I do. I, I wear gloves when I go to, like, grocery store or something like that. Even if I'm picking up. Well, not if I'm picking up, because then I'm sitting in my car. But um, if I actually need to go inside or something, I put on my mask, usually my N95, because I do happen to have one. If not, then I use one of my material ones are two of my material ones. Um, the material ones protect others just with some of your obvious bigger spit, nasal stuff, all that, but only the bigger stuff. The microscopic stuff's getting right through, so one of the better things to do if you really care about others and you're wearing um, um, a cloth one is to wear two because it's just not enough. Even when you put a filter in, it's not enough. So, um, anyway, so I, I usually would wear one of those two kinds of, and I have just a box of rubber gloves um, from, I don't know, did I get that from a medical? I forgot where I got that from. Um, but anyway, and also my husband, because the profession he's in, he needs N95, so he gave me one um, for when I feel like I'm going to be in a really crowded place, especially if I'm in a grocery store and it's not early, early in the morning. I wear my N95, and he also gave me the heavy rubber gloves, so... Anyway, so you have all that, and then you have your purse. Well, the good thing about this purse is it's just you can drop anything in it. Now, y'all know me. I love the trim on this. This is real leather trim, and it's brown, so it doesn't have the patining effect that a Vachetta leather does. And it also has a strap, a shoulder strap, and it's reinforced on the sides, which the regular Speedy does not. The regular Speedy, and this is a 30 size. Um, the regular speed does not have this reinforcement. The reason this reinforcement here is for the strap. The regular speedy does not have a strap. It is a handbag only. Um, I do keep the lock on it. And I do keep the key in the one pouch that exists right there. That's where the key stays. Because I don't really use it. It also has a place on the inside. I think my clean ladies here, y'all. Hey! Um, a little key hole right there. Now, you see inside, it's this beautiful red to contrast with these browns, so it's really, really pretty. But also, y'all know I have an organizer inside, and I want to show you so that you know why I'm not so happy with this. It just juggles things around because it's so loose. It's almost like you shouldn't have an organizer, and you should have pouches. So y'all know that I keep a clover sack. Look, a rubber glove. Y'all know that I keep a clover sack in here. So here's the clover sack. Look, here's one of my cloth masks. <laughs> that a friend got. I think someone made this, but I do like this one. And it is thicker, so I do feel like it's a little better than some. Um, and then I also have the matching wallet in here. Actually, this is from the, what is the name of this? Where it's got the little, them driving away in the, the car, and it's got a little dove behind them, and the umbrella's shooting out the back. And it's kind of cute. It's just cute. And it's a zip around wallet. Velvet. Velvet. That's enough. Okay, velvet. So, okay, this is empty and it's super lightweight. If you had pouches, I think this would actually work better because here's the problem. This just doesn't open up very wide. And so when I'm trying to get in there, I can't see because it's deep, but it's not wide. And so I can't see. Like, it's like, where are my keys? And because it's so open like this, this actually, even though it's a good organizer, it's the best organizer ever. I love the Clover Sack organizer. But look how jumbled around my stuff got. Inside the bag. Look. Look where my... This goes over here. This goes over here. And I do that for a reason, y'all. I have things in my purse in a certain place because I... I uh, for a reason. Here's another one of my masks. I love this one. 
faith over here, over fear. I can't remember where I got this one. And when I washed it, it did kind of shape it a little, but I do like this one. Am I really doing a mask review? <laughs> Only COVID-19. There's not other. And then I have one that's sparkly. <laughs> and then I have one that's just the plain blue kind, the surgical looking kind. And then my N95. So yeah, I got a couple of masks in my purse. Um, a couple of, um, I could do what's in my purse. I think that would take longer. But anyway, so here's the wallet. It's a zippy, zip around. And inside, y'all, y'all have seen zip around wallets, so you don't need to see all of it. But it does have lots of compartment space. It has a place right here for something tight, like money, if you wanted. But then there's, I put all my cash money on the sides and all my receipts on the other side. And then in the zipper, I have any coins. I also keep in here, um, a safety pin with a bunch of different size safety pins on it. I also have, there's some coins. I thought I had a coin that can be a screwdriver. Yeah, isn't that the coolest? It's a little tool. You can use that little end piece as a screwdriver if you really need to. I have my business card. That's my personal business card. And then there's my YouTube personal business card. And then there is my Chick-fil-A business card and a check for my dad just in case I ever need a check for him. But now we've moved to check cards and stuff like that. And I also keep in here things like my return address stickers, um, card closure stickers, and stamps. A couple of different kinds because there's some with doggies and some with birdies and some with flowers. I love stamps. I think they're fun. Um, and then just my credit cards and any of my... Um, when you go to a place and you get points for... for going there, little stamp cards like that, discount cards. And then also inside of that, this is the monogram instead of the uh, dominated beam, but y'all know this stays in, and this is my medical. So it has a, breathing, a breather, it has Tums, it has a toothpick. I love these kind. I, I think this is made by Oral-B. Yeah, I love these kind because it has floss and a very thin pick so it can get anything. I do keep a peony shield even though I'm, I'm long past period. Sometimes you have a little issue, especially if you have a cold or a cough and you might have a little accident when you cough or sneeze really hard, I always think, mm, I better put one of those on. I'm coughing a lot today. Um, also, Tweezerman tweezers, the little baby, how are they the cutest? It came with three, but I only keep one of them in here, but you never know when you're going to need tweezers for who knows what reason for, a, you get a splinter or you got to pluck a hair that just is in the wrong time in the wrong place. I keep um, some individually packed uh, medications for allergies, ibuprofen, um, a triple antibiotic, and some band-aids, and I also keep um, a Purell wipe or two just in here, just in case, and also a list of medications for both me and my husband, because I forget the milligrams and everything, and then there's usually a few pens. Um, no on that. These pens, I like one that doesn't have a lid. I like one that does have a lid. And then this is just a really good, this is that Inner, Inner Gel Liquid Gel Ink from Pentel. This is one of my favorite pens. I really like that one. And then I have three colors of lip uh, product. I usually have my Chanel's and this one's going back in. Took it out just to wear it today. But this is the um, color number 174 Endless Pink, which is really this kind of, I would say at best, a rosy orange. Um, my famous soft rose in color 48 and then strawberry red is my true red which is 54 and I keep those in there just because I never know which color I want to put on and then I have this uh, a liner just in case my liner comes off and I keep one of these infallible matte mattics from L'Oreal just in case it wears off but it, it typically doesn't and somewhere should be in here this one thing that had to bounce around I had a brow product and I also always keep in here, this got all bounced around. Just went everywhere, y'all. I don't know what happened. I always keep a, I like Sweet and Low, but I know that it's not as good because um, it's not natural. So I keep a Stevia also in here in case the restaurant doesn't have that and they've only got sugar because I don't really like sugar. Um, and I keep a couple of these little medium-sized vials of um, perfume just in case I want to smell good. Oh, look. 
there back there in the paper section. I have a little section back here where I keep papers. Usually a couple of different kinds of cards I can pull from. Um, and then also these. Lens wipes from Zeiss. Z-E-I-Z-Z. -Z -Z. No. Z-E-I-S-S. -S. They're um, for um, glasses. And I use them all the time. So I keep those in here. And they're all out of place. They're all out of place. There's my eyebrow. And this is from Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim. It has a very tiny nib on one end. And the little spool brush on the other. That stays in. So all of that is just kind of my little makeup area right there. Pen area right there. And then in the middle, I have my Chanel. Um, this is color number two, Rose Bronze Blush. I have a couple of these little spray hand sanitizers. This makes your purse so much heavier having all the sanitizers and um, masks and, and gloves in your purse all the time. So I, I used to keep this in the car, but y'all shouldn't keep anything alcohol based in the car because it can explode. And also, even these little guys, I got this from um, Bath and Body Works. It's one of the pocket bags called A Thousand Wishes. This is more liquid, whereas this is a little spray. but especially if they're next to something like my tissues if i left that in the car they can explode and be flammable so don't keep those in your car keep them in your purse um also tissues you always need tissues um, my hand cream very little of this left and they don't make it anymore if y'all ever find out where this is please tell me it's precision chanel body excellence hand cream i love this stuff love it, it smells like linen it's a real clean smell then also I have, this isn't mace, so nobody freak out, it's pepper spray, but you should always have something like that to defend yourself. I also keep a really good diamond nail file. Um, I also keep my Hydra Beauty um, Essence Mist, just to finish my, actually I don't do this for finishing, I use this for finishing, and I really like when I'm finishing my makeup to use the flower seal the deal, you do need to shake.